So in yesterday's video, I unboxed this character right here, Bozo the Clown, and while I was unboxing him, I was trying to think of all of the different clowns that have Funko Pops, and I thought that there was maybe like four or five, but a lot of you guys let me know how many there really are. And I mean, there's a lot of them. And when I found out that there were so many different clown Funko Pops, I decided to go through my collection to see how many different clown figures I have, and I really do have a lot of them, so today we're going to be going through my top five. And now I'm not going to be putting Bozo on my top five because we did just talk about him yesterday, but if you guys want to see him a little bit closer up, here he is. Oh, and also guys, just for fun, I decided to make a list of as many different clown Funko Pops as I could possibly find, and I came up with this here. Okay, here we go. <clears throat> Bozo the Clown, Tearaway Face Clown, Krusty the Clown, Vampire Krusty the Clown, Fanta Clown, Ghost Clown, Pennywise, 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 Clown Deadpool, Twisty the Clown, Captain Spaulding, Good Luck Troll, as a clown, and Killer Clown from Outer Space, and there are four from that set. And now guys, I do want to mention that I definitely missed a bunch of different clown figures, so if you guys have more of them, please put them in the comment section below. And also, I didn't put my top five on this list, just so that, wait, wait, yes I did. Okay, I put one of them on the list. I didn't mean to put it on the list. You, It'll be the first one. It doesn't really matter. Let's just get into the top five. All right, everyone. So the first figure that I have on my top five clowns is the Vampire Krusty from the Simpsons Trios of Horror. Now, I wish I could have put the normal Krusty on the list, but he is super expensive, and I do not have that one in my collection. And now, I don't want to call this one a runner-up to the other Krusty the Clown. I still think that this one is a great figure. It's just too bad that I don't have a normal Krusty the Clown to go with the rest of the figures. But if you guys want to see him out of the box, here he is here. And I think this one is really well done. I especially love how he's got the cape open like this, almost like they're bat wings. And then you can see Krusty has the fangs on the front there. And I think the head is a really great great updated sculpt because if you've seen the original one that one right there it doesn't look great compared to this one but I still do love that original figure and the kind of like classic Funko feel and I always talk about that and it's really just like whatever pops used to look like I still think they look amazing because that's where Funko started with pops and those are the ones that really got people into collecting those original ones there but it is still fun to see how they made an updated sculpt of the Krusty the Clown and how it probably would look today if they made a normal one and now I totally understand why Funko isn't going back and recreating the original Krusty but it would be really cool to maybe get a version of Krusty almost like they did the couch Homer where he's sitting on the couch watching TV maybe they could do it where it's like Krusty inside of the TV but it's like the original version of him I don't know whatever they do I think it would look great but it would be cool to have something like that in the future all right guys now next up let's move on to this one here which is of course the Joker more specifically the Blacklight Joker now the reason I put the Blacklight Joker on my top five list is probably because this is one of my favorite ones out of all of the Jokers that I have because a lot of them do look very similar but for this one here it really does stand out on my shelf and now if you guys want to know the other two in the set we have Batman as well as Harley Quinn and it was kind of funny when I was looking up different clowns on Google a lot of Harley Quinn's came up so is she technically like a clown as well I don't know she's more of like a jester in my eyes I'm not 100% sure about that one but I'm sure a lot of you guys know better than I do so if you guys know if she's considered a clown or maybe something else please let me know and now one comment that I see about these figures a lot is why don't they just glow in the dark and it's because they only work under black light so it's almost like a situational glow in the dark where they only work well nobody really has just like a big black light laying around so it really only works at like elementary school dances or a wedding not many places and if you try to get a black light over at home depot they're just those like flashlight versions and they really don't do these justice so you do have to have one of those massive ones and i don't really know anybody that has one anyways let's stop dogging on the black light and let's move on to the next one all right everyone now let's get on to the next figure here and this one is just a great one i love the sculpt on this thing i haven't even shown you what it is yet but this is the toy story 3 chuckles and now the main difference with Chuckles versus all of the other clown Funko Pops that we have today is that he is a sad clown. And I think that's one of the only clowns that I have in the collection that are sad. Like, none of them are frowning besides this one here. So it is kind of different, but I do like that about the figure. And I mean, if the Funko Pop was happy, it wouldn't really make sense, because the only part of his personality that we see throughout the film is him being sad, you know, staring out the window, the rain going down, the very stereotypical, I'm sad in a movie kind of scene. But you guys can see here, there he is a little bit closer, but I really do love the way that Funko did this one, because they gave him so many details, even the Daisy Locket in his hand. And I'm kind of curious, does the head spin on this one? I feel like it does. It just seems like it wouldn't. Yeah, it spin. Ooh, I don't know if I want to do that. Will it make it around? I don't want his head to pop off. It does make it all the way around, but I would be careful if you guys do have this one. I know this one came out a while ago. What does it even say? 2019, so now two years ago. So not too long, but it is definitely a bit of an older character. But yeah, I really do enjoy this one. And if you guys are wondering why I'm saying be careful, because when you turn it, it kind of lifts itself up a little bit because of the way his frills are around his neck. So it kind of does bend it up. So yeah, if you guys are going to turn his head, definitely be careful because now mine's, I think, a little bit looser, but it's definitely still okay. 
And for the Toy Story set, I love this one so much that I have every single one of the newer characters. I don't have any of the older ones, and I would love to get them eventually, but the problem is, is that I like to pick them up in person. Like, if I'm spending three to four hundred dollars on a figure, I would like to get it where I can actually see it, instead of ordering it on eBay, and then the shipping, it might ruin it. I don't know. I don't really like going through eBay, especially if I'm paying, like, you know, three to four hundred dollars for a figure. The most I'll probably do is, like, fifty to two hundred, like, nothing too crazy. And I know two hundred dollars is a lot for a figure, but if I really want to complete the set, it's not too bad compared to some of the more expensive sets I'm trying to complete. Like ad icons with a handful of them being over a thousand dollars. So if I ever were to get some more expensive ones, I would love to get them at conventions in person, but conventions aren't really happening right now. So for like example with Krusty, I would love to find that one in person for maybe like 300 bucks. I can see exactly what the box looks like and then I can take it home in my hand because that way it's not UPS bringing it to my house. It's me and I feel like I'll take a lot more care of it than UPS ever would. No offense to UPS, but they do do... They do deliver a lot of packages a day. I tried getting around that. They do deliver a lot of packages a day, so there's bound to be a couple that damage, and I wouldn't want it to be mine. All right, everyone, now let's get on to the fourth pop, which is an ad icon. Actually, both four and five are ad icons. Kind of funny that it worked out like that. But anyways, this next one that we've got here is the McDonald's Ronald McDonald. And now this one here is one of those characters that I've been waiting for for years. I remember back in maybe like 2018 or 2019, they'd been put into the GameStop system that you could pre-order them, and I remember a lot of people did, and they just never showed up. I think a lot of people maybe just canceled them or GameStop just took it out of their system and then I'm not exactly sure what happened but people definitely did not get their figures back in 2018 and then this year or last year yes yeah, 2020 for some reason I don't know both years have just been a mesh anyways doesn't really matter but last year they came up with the McDonald's ones finally and we did of course get all of the characters from this set and I'm so glad that they are making a lot of them because I really do enjoy every single one of these characters you know what's funny guys I was so focused on looking at the back of the box there I forgot to show you guys the back of the box so there they are right there there's the first wave with all of the classic McDonald's characters. And you know what's funny guys, I don't remember if it was mine or if it was somebody else's, but I kind of remember this one not standing very well. So let's test this thing out today and see if he does stand. Aha, it was mine. It is. Look at this thing. Yeah, Ronald McDonald doesn't stand. And the good news is at least I'm a little bit of an inbox, well, I'm a lot of bit of an inbox collector and I do like to take them out sometimes. But for this one here, it looks like this one will never be coming out of the box because he'll just always fall over. Yeah, this is a bit of a tough one. But if you guys want to see him a little bit closer up, there is the Ronald McDonald right there. And I love that they put a bunch of different M's all over his suit. And you'd think with his massive clown shoes, he would be able to stand, but I guess his hair is tilting him back a little bit farther than his shoes ever could hold him up. So when you guys see him there, yeah, like he's definitely leaning with his head. Maybe that's better? No. Oh! Also, his feet are uneven as well. Like, if you look at this here, it's hard for you guys to see, but he definitely wobbles when you actually, like, push down on both of his feet. I wish he stood better, but it's fine. I keep him in the box, so it's not that big of a deal, like I said, but it would be nice if he would stand by himself. Oh, and also, there's another version of the Ronald McDonald Funko Pop that came out a little bit later on, which is this one right here. This is the Rockout Ronald, and I don't know which one I enjoy more. Probably this one, because I like the classic look, but also that M guitar is pretty cool. All right, everyone, so the last ad icon figure that we're gonna be taking a look at today is probably my favorite out of all of the different clowns, just because, I don't know, I feel like it translates the best to a Funko Pop, and this one here is the Pez's Peter Pez. And now I've really enjoyed collecting Pez for the last couple of years. I've mostly been getting the Pop Pez recently, but I do also like getting the normal Pez as well. And for this one here, I really do enjoy how Peter Pez is holding a smaller version of his Pez. And if you guys are wondering, this one was exclusive to Toy Tokyo in San Diego 2019. So that would have been San Diego Comic-Con 2019. And I mean, guys, look at this one here. It probably looks the best out of all of them. And I think it's because of the simplistic head that would have to go on a Pez anyways. So to make this into a Funko Pop, it probably wasn't that complicated. And I also really enjoy, like I said, that he's holding a smaller version of his Pez in his hand, very similar to a U2's that came out recently. Now, I don't want to say I was copying him. I actually forgot about it, but uh, it is kind of funny that they are very similar. And I feel like besides Bozo, this one is probably the most stereotypical clown out of all of the ones that I've shown off today because he's got those huge pants, the massive shoes, like the big red hat, as well as the entire face paint. It really does look like a clown. And I mean, that's of course what Pez was going for when creating this character. And that's why I think I really enjoy it. And if something kind of weird is that there's a bunch of different Pez characters that Funko created, but for some reason they only put Peter Pez on the back. Well, actually, they didn't put anything. They just put the name Peter Pez under the word Pez. There's also Mimic the Monkey and then the Pez Girl, and I feel like that would have been cool to put on the back, but I guess they just didn't do it. All right, everyone. Well, that's enough clowning around for today, and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. But also, something that I was wondering is, I've heard that a lot of people have a phobia of clowns, so was anybody scared while watching this video? Especially because there is a lot of clowns in this video, and I mean a lot of them. And well, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video, but before we get out of here, we of course have to spin the wheel, so let's see which store we get today. 
Mmm, box lunch! A good one. You know what guys, while digging around today, I noticed that I don't have that many Box Lunch exclusive pops. And maybe it's because there isn't a Box Lunch near me, so I don't really go to one that often. I have to order them online to get them. But I did pick a good one today, and this is the Rick and Morty's Tiny Rick. And now the reason I chose this one was because I haven't talked about this one in a long time. I don't really show off my Rick and Morty figures enough, and I feel like the last time I talked about this one in a video was when I did all of my Rick and Morty pops. And if you guys want to check out that video, I definitely recommend it, because I don't think I've gotten very many since then, or maybe I haven't got any, because there hasn't been many that have been coming out recently. But you guys can see here, there is the tiny Rick out of the box, and I really do like that he's holding the guitar in his hand, and he's actually playing the guitar, as well as he's sitting on a stool. And also, something kind of interesting about Funko and Rick and Morty is that they actually have the master license for Rick and Morty, which means they create every single product, not just Funko Pops. They make plush, t-shirts, water bottles, pretty much anything you can think of, Funko creates it. Or Loungefly, which Funko recently acquired. So if you guys ever see like backpacks and stuff like that that say Loungefly, they're also created, I guess technically, by Funko. Of course, because Funko owns Loungefly, but anyways, what I'm trying to get at here is I feel like that's why they created so many different Rick and Morty Pops, because they were the only ones that could create Rick and Morty figures, and this right here really does look great, and it's a very odd one, but like I said, I feel like because they had the master license, they could pretty much do whatever they wanted with the characters. And well, anyways, guys, there you go. That is the Tiny Rick Funko Pop, and I hope you guys enjoyed. Oh, and also, before we get out of here, I was looking on the Reddit, because a lot of people were posting different clown Funko Pops, and one guy posted me. So thank you for that. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed. And if you guys want to see more from me in the future, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, do all that. But this has been another episode of Top Pops. Popsters, thanks for watching. See you guys tomorrow. Dripping like a school. On a four with school. Baby gonna school. She funny with it. Funny with it. Cool. V54 thump. I'm a hump. On a bounce. Jack and Jill up a hill. Baby trying to get a meal. Mary had a little lamb. I really do not fuck with that. She calling me the muffin man. I surely like the muffin top. Snow. Lama lasses.